Good morning once again and welcome to the 2022 inauguration and oath taking of elected officials of the province, select districts and municipalities. We would like to take this time to, to recognize and acknowledge in attendance to this year's ceremony. We would like to acknowledge the regional directors of the national government agencies and line agencies, our partners from the academy, medical directors, provincial directors, our mayors, provincial government department heads, chiefs of hospitals, our partners from the media, the PNP, BJMP, and Philippine Coast Guard. Good morning once again and welcome to this 2022 inauguration. Can we give them please a big round of applause? And also with us this morning is Senator Juan Edgardo Sonny M. Angara, who will administer the oath to our elected officials in the province and select districts. Ms. Bea Krishna Fernandez and Jobert Anuran Jr. will entertain us for this ceremony performing One Love. Governor, our representative to Congress, and our own Governor. 
This is now the oath taking of the Sangguniang Pan Lalawiga. We start off by calling the elected board members of the first district. Board member Marcelo Valentin S. Serrano. And board member Carmelo in Noche.
Congratulations to our elected officials, Sangguniang Pangkalunida of the Second District, Honorable Rolito C. Kahili and Honorable June S. Montevar. So we'd like to take this time for Board Member Montevar to take the photo with our Senator Angar to be followed by Board Member Kahili. And then we exit on my side to facilitate that. Thank you. Thank you, board member Jill Montivar will exit on my side. Now for the photo op of board member Rolito C. Kahili. Thank you, board member Rolito C. Kahili. Let us call on stage our elected officials for the Sangonia Pangalawigan of the 3rd District of Iloilo, Honorable Jason R. Gonzalez and Honorable Matt B. Palabre.
Congratulations, Honorable Rolando P. Pistola and Honorable Domingo P. Posa Jr. of the Park District of Italy. Honorable uh, Rolando is coming up with uh, Senator Ricara for the photo op. Is that your photo op? Thank you. 
Embassy United officials for the Sanguinian Plan Dalawigan of the 1st, 5th District of the Province of Iloilo. For the 5th District, Honorable Carol V. S. Espinosa Diaz and Honorable Binky April M. Tumas. Congratulations, Honorable Carol B. Espinosa Diaz and Honorable Vicky April M. Lucas. Can we give our board members of the province of Iloilo a big round of applause? First district, second district, third district, fourth district, and fifth district members of the San Juan Panula We we'll have this time with uh, Honorable Carol B. Espinosa Diaz with Senator Agara to be followed by. Honorable Vinky April Lucas. You can just quickly take off your uh, mask. Very quick. Thank you, Honorable Carol B. Espinosa Diaz. Now we request the normal Pinky April M. Lewis and family to take the center stage for the photo of with Senator Angara.
Thank you, Father, for the spiritual guidance. And I'd also like to thank my mother for the emotional guidance. Jaman na ang mga magtuan. Okay, we shared with Jennifer and of course, you come shout out with me also with us today. Pasalamat mo na ko to all my in-laws. Okay, Janet, and here with us, this song is the next balada of Ang Bisto. Okay, please, salamat kay. And, big yaman, ang actor mo, yung numbers, si Selim, yung si Alex, balada. Together, you have made this journey easier and more fulfilling as public servants. Secondly, I would also like to take this chance to pledge my continuing service to all of you. Duro ang hampal, na pa sa third term, pero kaya ito, nagapigla duro ng servisyo publiko because of this team on the last term. I don't know what you will receive, pero manakal, hindi kapatid mo po. I will continue to serve you with vigor and enthusiasm for the next leader to I am with you. Sa mga nagpapinsya kang ilo, sa rin ilo kami, kami imaw ang Akdan board members sa 14 sa Dian na nalumitan together with our governor, Governor Toto Defensor, na mapadayon ang pagsabisyo to the best of our ability to the province of Pilipino. Aside from doing the usual things, first what I demanded as your vice governor and as the signing officer of the Sibuni Akman to the region, I will continue to work to advocate for my own policies and causes I am very close to. I will continue to work for different empowerment where I find affinity and relevance. I will continue to work with the people in the sector of education, knowing the importance and value of learning and shaping our communities. In terms of social services, I will continue to help the least of our brethren and continue on with the programs and the legacy of my father, Papa Gary. Time and again, it has been a great ride, and so I made this commitment to give back and pay it forward. The best way I do. For sure, ready to serve and was ready to be of service again. And lastly, I call upon you to rally behind us in all these endeavors we wish to undertake from now on. Government and governance are nothing without the very necessary and main ingredient which is you, which is you, the people. In Hanglan Namin Kamo, para sa matumanan ng Atan Hanglo. Together, let us lift the province of Iligilo into greater heights and the Ilongo nation stronger. Mabuhay ang provincia ng Iligilo. Halim buwan sa Iligilo ng Atan Hanglo. Thank you once again, Honorable Vice Governor Christine S. Green. We would like to call on stage now Congressman James Jojo A. A. Jr. of Uswak Ilongo Partidist to take this vote before Honorable Senator Sunny Angar.
tutuparin ko ng buhusay at katapatan sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. Ang aking tatapuyon at pagtatanggol sa Ligang Batas ng Pilipinas. Natunay na mananalig at natalima ako rito. Susunod ko ang mga batas, mga kagusang ligar, mga dekretong ipinahihiran, na mga sadyang itinagdam ay kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At kusa kong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito na walang anumang pasubali o hangari ko iwas. Kasi yan nawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations po. Congratulations, Representative James Jovi Clark Jr. of Iswag, Ilongo Party Lesson. And it is photo up with Senator Amgar.
Ilipuktan ninyo kami Kami Ang puswang ilonggo Mahapal ka Na atong gate Together We will be committed For the development of the cities Municipalities And provinces of the region That will have a big contribution To the growth of our nation In the future Ululubod kita Ipalambog ang pag-uswa at ang pagpamuna sa ilongko na niyong sa Pilipinas. Una, ang kaayuhan sa pamilya ng ilongko. Sakto na healthcare para sa pigado. Wala kuntang drama sa infrastruktura ng turismo. Asenso sa infrastruktura ng turismo. Ang kinatipo ng installation para sa pamilya. Ang masunod na tatlo patuig sa pagserbisyo sa puso at tinungo, importante din. Matamo pa sa mga proyekto at programa na dapat ipagkayo ng i-plastal ka. Kinahangan nga po na mag-iinusap, united kita, na mag-inuligay sa paglapo sa atong mga hamlo para sa pasmasanan ang more progressive future. Madamong kinasalaman sa panang ninyong nasuporta at pagsali most especially sa akong pinalangka na regiyon sa inyo. Ilo-ilo at pikil at blood caps ibaras at negros occidental. I am confident that we can leave behind a lasting legacy for more positive change kapatayong kapag-uswag sa Pilipish para sa Pilipisyo sa mga ilobo. Labaw sa tanan, nakapasalaman kita sa ginoo kapag nagsaling kita sa iya grasya. Sa liwan, uswag ka, ilobo, aton, ini. Matamukin ka sa lahat. Thank you and congratulations, Honorable Representative James Pan Jr. Now to introduce our guest speaker for this year's inauguration and oath taking ceremony, we would like to request the Honorable Member of the Sandrian Pandalapigan to introduce our guest speaker, Honorable June S. Mondeja. Speaker, Uh, we're 
permission to remove my mask. Hello, hello. Uh, good morning, Ulit. Ito daw yung podium para sa akin. Sir, mask, sir. Kaya kasi po ako mga tagalit lang ang aking mask. Hindi, hindi tayo magkaka-COVID kasi noong June 6, nag-test tayo lang positive sa COVID. Pero sabi ng doktor, 10 days lang daw yun. Okay na. Kaya kayo matakot. Uh, good morning to all Ilongos. Uh, sa ating uh, magaling, ogi, batang bata, at uh, walang kumalaban na gobernador, Governor Mark Toto Defensor Jr. Alam niyo po, I knew Governor Toto was destined for greater things because magkasama ko kami sa law office, sa ACRA Law, sa hinapakagaling na abogado, maraming pinanalong kaso, at nung siya estudyante, siya po ang number one counselor sa UP Diliman Student Council. Kaya alam po dun pala, hindi dahil sa kanyang pangalan, hindi dahil siya ay anak ng sikat na politiko na si Art Defensor, kundi on his own merit, nakikita ko po yung seeds of greatness in our governor. And now that those seeds are starting to bear fruit to, for the benefit of all Ilongos, Governor Toto Defensor Jr. and his family. Palakpang anak ang pangalit. Mahirap naman, walang palaban, hindi na pala pinapalakpang. Sa ating uh, former Governor, Governor Art Defensor Senior, he was uh, my mentor as a second year congressman sa House of Representatives in 2007. He was the House Majority Leader. Ako po ay isa sa kanyang mga Deputy Majority Leaders. And doon kami natuto ng mga parliamentary procedures, precedents, at uh, other uh, many other things under the brilliant brilliance of uh, Majority Leader Art Defensor. Eh, pakitayin lang po yan na ang mga ilonggo magagaling, you are destined for positions of leadership, positions, high positions in the national government. Congratulations po sa inyo. Sa ating Vice Governor, Christine Tingting Garin, uh, also a famous name, wala rin tumalaban, a very good friend ko po ang kanyang yumaong kama na si uh, former Congressman Oka Garib. Also, a very strong leader of the province of Iloilo. Nandito po kanyang uh, butihing may bahay sa Mang Nimfa, Mayor Nimfa Garib, at ang kanyang uh, mga anak. Of course, Deputy Speaker Sharon Garib, one of the, the brilliant uh, Congresswomen and men na mahusay po dahil hindi lang po abogada, kundi magaling din po sa usaping pang-ekonomiya. At alam po natin, Ngayon, mataas po mga preso, yan ang mga problema at suli na rin ng ating bansa. Kakailanganin po ng pamahalaan ang galing ng isang Deputy Speaker, Sharon Ganyan. Sa ating batang-bata, at uh, ayoko tumabi dito dahil walang pumapansin sa akin sa kapugian ng bagong congressman po natin. Well, dati na po congressman, but the younger, I don't want to say more improved, pero kasing galing po ng kanyang kapatid na si Governor Toto, Congressman Lonoy Defensor. Aking very young, very dynamic, only on his second term, pero napaka-respetado. Galing po yan ang Maynila. Siya po ang pinili out of 300 congressmen to lecture to the new batch of congressmen. At doon pa lang nakikita po ang galing ng isang batang-batang kongresista. Sa aking kaibigan, first term niya, Pero hindi po bago dahil marami po siyang kaibigan in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, uh, because of his prominent role in the private sector. At ngayon po lang nalaman ang kanyang pangalan ay James. Dahil ang tawag ko po sa kanya ay Jojo. Congressman Jojo Ang. I'd like to greet the members of the Sagoniang Panlalawigan. Congratulations on your victory. Uh, kay Congressman Buboy Tupas, of course. Congressman Lex Colada or Amba Ambis uh, Owas, sorry. Uh, Vice Mayor Jeffrey Ganzon is also with us, sir. Also one of the great political families of Iliilo, the late Senator Ganzon. 
Uh, I'm also like to greet my friend, our friend, uh, the president or the chairman of the CPU board, Attorney Peter Corvera, is with us. And we have officials also from Pavia, uh, from uh, Kalino, and other towns in Iloilo and Panay. Maganda kumaga po sa inyong lahat. I won't take too much of your time because uh, this day belongs to the elected officials of Iloilo province. And it is a famous and historic day because I can't remember the last time a governor of such a large province and his vice governor ran uncontested. Uh, I think it is a tribute to your performance. I believe na believe po ang tao sa inyo. But other than that, eh, nagkaisa po kayo para sa inyong probinsa, para sa inyong bansa. Congratulations. I recall coming here as a young congressman at Ibang ilo-ilo ang nakita ko noon, ladies and gentlemen. Ang nakita kong ilo-ilo noon, matrapik, maliit ang kalsada, walang tubig, walang masyadong uh, buhay, maliit ang airport. In the 15 or 20 years since then, incredible progress has come to the province of Ilo-Ilo. And it is a tribute to the leadership of the men and women who are sitting here in front of you. Palakpaka naman po natin sila. Palakpaka po ninyo ang inyong mga sarili. Kapagkat kung wala kayo, wala din po sila dito na nabubo sa mga matataas na posisyon. I'd like to make special mention of a friend, a mentor. It's no coincidence na kanina po lumanti kami ng 7.15 or 7 o'clock. At 7.30, nandun na po kami sa hotel namin, nag-aalmosal na po kami. Previously, that journey would have taken 45 minutes to one hour. But because of the new flyover built with the help of Senator Franklin Trilon, Governor Toto Defensor, Congressman Nonoy Defensor, Vice Governor Tingting Garin, Deputy Speaker Sharon Garin, and all the elected officials, nagkaisa po kayo and the progress of Iloilo is palpable, it is tangible, it is visible for all to see. Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Isa lang po yung pinangit ko flyover. Umakit po ko pagkatapos ng aking almusal sa aking hotel room para maligo. At binuksan po ang aking pintana, nakita ko po ang Iloilo Convention Center. Nakita ko po yung mga call centers na wala dito nung huling punta ko maybe 3 or 4 years ago. At hindi biro po yung mga projects na yan. Hindi natin nakikita ang mga proyekto niya sa lahat ng lalawigan. So congratulations po to the province of Iloilo for making it happen. And I know with our first time officials, among them Congressman Jojo Ab, more is to come. I'd also like to greet uh, my friend, si Alvin Tan, is also here with us. He's from the uh, Tan family, I think, related to uh, Congressman Jojo and her family. Uh, so I'd just like to mention some of the projects that uh, your leaders have asked me to help with uh, for the progress of the province. Dito po sa langangan ng Alusugan or in sa usapin ng health uh, bilang inyong finance committee chairman, tinulak po natin yung additional 417.9 million sa 2022 budget to augment funds for the Iloilo Provincial Hospital and 12 other district hospitals. Meron din po tayo 135.9 million for infrastructure projects, another 160 million for medical equipment, and 121 million to fund the DOH Medical Assistance to Indigents or MAIP program of the Department of Health. Alam po natin na napakahirap ng pinagdahari ng ating mga kababayan sa ilalim po ng COVID. Hindi uh, po makalabas, hindi po makalapagtrabaho at uh, kung magkasakit ka, talagang kawawa po ang inyong pamilya. Kaya sinikap po ng inyong mga liderato na humingi sa mga ng tulong sa kanilang mga big brother yan ang tawag nila sa amin sa Senado. Uh, kaya kami po ay uh, sumaklolo. Uh, we answer the call of your leaders to help the province. Dahil united po kayo, dahil progresibo po ang pinakita niyong mukha sa amin, kami po ay walang uh, alinlangan. We did not think twice to help the province of Iloilo. 
In 2018, we allocated 10 million for the completion of the Techno Technology Livelihood Center at Iloilo Science and Technology University, or ISATU. Also, 10 million for the construction of an education college of education building at the main Tawi campus of the Iloilo State College of Fisheries. 30 million for the construction of UP Visayas School of Technology building. 40 million for the construction of clinical skills laboratory at the Western Visayas State University College of Medicine and 20 million to fund the operations of the Western Visayas State University Genome Center. So ito po, kalusugan at edukasyon, ito po ay sa tulong natin mga leader ng ating bayan uh, ay nakatulong po sa ating mga kababayan. These funds are not a gift of Senator Angara to Governor Toto Congressman Noy, to Vice Governor Ting Ting, ito po ay biyaya natin sa mga darating na generasyon ng mga Ilonggo. Sabi ni Vice Governor Ting Ting, let's make Ilonggo Nation great. The Ilonggo Nation is already great and it is getting stronger. At asahan niyo po ang tulong ni Sen. Rangara for the next three years. As long as nadudug po tayo sa Senado, may kasama po kayo sa progreso. So congratulations to all the elected officials of Ilo. More power, God bless, mabuhay. Thank you, Senator Sani Angara. Please remain on stage because we will call here up stage Congressman Lawrence R. Defensor of the 3rd District of the Province of Iloilo to take his oath.
The governor-elect of the province of Iluira will take his ceremonial oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, still the governor of the province of Iluira, Honorable Arthur R. Revensor Jr. Kagulat ng kapoy naman ng sa sumo. 
sundan at probinsya sa pinuin kang sabilungin ng Diyos. Alak pa man na si Sinala ng My wife, Michelle, and so Former Governor Art Defensor Sinai. I mean, this is the second defensor. And my son, the main producer, Lorenzo Arnold Defensor. The second is the one. Sa akong partner sa sakuna ang panalo, Our vice, Panakpakan, vice, Lord, Tinting Galilito. Ang mga kaupon na kung ang mga matutuling panagong sa ating Congress. Congressman, partilist of Congressman Ngayon, Congressman Joe Joan. We have our deputies, We have our congressman. Our board members, sa ato ng mga members, sa ato ng vice president, sa ato ng mga 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 mga
because we cannot predict the weather. We cannot even be sure of the weather. What we can do is only work together to take care of the both. Kululi ka na kung ka na. Nga maayaw ka ba ito ang pangkakbay? Maayaw ka ba ito ang pangkakbay? Liwat ito. We cannot make promises. When you take down the foundation of a new administration. But we can give direction. Ladies and gentlemen, mga wadudugang kasiman, sa paghatag natin sa direksyon sa ating mga wadudugang, I will give to you and I will say to you more progress in my life. Can we have that on our show? This is our move. Our progress in the middle is our one Ako na ang gusto na ito ng direksyon na ito sa akong tanggap tayo sa masunod na ito na ayon It is a movement for a research progressive globally competitive and resilient hindi kita magpatimbol at minasunod ng organisasyon. Because the movement is as for ang nananibay nito. Naging bagong nito ang ating organisasyon. Kaya po grabo, kita ka na. Kamunta na nang naging pangyaw na. Ikaw po na doon ang dog of pensions. Nga purulihan na ito. We want to be resurgent because this administration ang iya sa provincia, ang iya na sa ating kamaruhanan. This is a recovery administration. Bago pa lang na nagbaroon sa milyong mitro na po nga and the data will show that the gross domestic product sa region 6 wala pa kita nakabago to the levels before at least 9% so which means that we are good that is why we are good at least we are good at least we are good We have capsulized in some short statements our vision, our mission, and our initial problems to give us direction and inspiration. Again, we want a research and progressive global and senior practice. And our mission
we can better take care of the problem of in terms of natural economics, social disorder, even political okay, disorder, and continuing emergency situations like climate change. So that we can aim for the goal. Tamuk kita sa mga programa sa itaw. Yep, our time on the field. Our tree growing and our forest development program. Because our vision is a forest province. Sa nililigat ng ataw, yan tanong ilo sa hulit 2022. It is a tree growing and forest development program for food security and public safety that is specialized and focused on the implementation of stopping agricultural land technology for public health. Para na mas ma-protectionan natin ang atun niya, mga kapagiran, mabulika natin ang mga ng mga pangaman nila sa mga. This is a long-term solution to the problems that we are experiencing. And many more. Number five, That may show now, but they deliver another one. To provide effective and efficient transparent for government administrations. And we will strive to have the facilities of the province of Indonesia to be clean, orderly, and functional. Cleanliness, order, and functionality. Para ang mga servisyo sa community na ini. At sa ibang mga pasilidades sa ilang mga pupinsya pa sa ito, matawag manapin ang mga pasilidad na ito. Imitanan, kung ululi ka na, kaginoon natin ng direksyon sa pupinsya, ng direksyon na ito. Kung tingubon mo ang resort na gusto natin ang mga pupinsya, makahatag ka. Kukun makasiling kita na nag-ibok na ko para na ang mga kagahing-kahingan sa pagkakabuyan kag sa tanan ng isang kubidya sa kanyang makaambit. Ang manggan at umuman ang ara sa kubidya makaambit. And as you move forward, as we move forward sa ating mga pagtrabaho, ang ating what we really want to do is to create a growth center in the province of India. In addition to what we have here in India. Kinalamay ating kita na growth center which is strategically innovated sa ating airport, sa ating port of Duangas, accessible sa First district, seventh district, third district, fourth and fifth district of India, even accessible to a ticket and a piece of the number That's what we want to do. A growth area here in the province of India. And that is why that we are really pushing for the development of the assets. Possibly in partnership with the private sector. Through PPP, public private partnership. So that we can create growth areas in our own countries. I will tell you that I will not be able to do this. I will not be able to do this. Kung ano ka pa salamat, kita ko sila pagkakalim niya, kalimay ako, na nakatipon na kita ko din, kung di sarap, kung di sarap ng kita ng abon na mas importante sa amon ng pagkasalaman. Ang amon ng bala, katapusan, ng pagkamayo, sa inyong sabulig. Kaya ini ka na, ang lantawan na ito pa sa provincia sa inyong sabulig. Hindi pa na yun. Kung hindi kita Salamat din sa inyo.
di ba itong po ang sila ni Father Gray na sila sila? We are in the same. What we can do best is to work together and take care of the world. Salamat sa tayo na kasi.